Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Snake Cactus, an unholy union of nature's most terrifying creatures. Where I left off, we have entered the bonus levels, I guess, of this section. Two cozy little levels hidden here, A and B. Thought I'd check it out right now. They've really thrown us into an interesting one here. What is this long path? We <laughs> Look at me go! So, it looks like this tiny cactus has to go over three and up one. And what, this is over five? If I push here, and then here, it, it, it's now eight away? There's no way. <laughs> There's absolutely no way we kick this with the back of us. Weird part's gonna be pushing it up. I mean, sure, anyone can push it over, but pushing it up's a real deal. So bring it up, and then this is where it gets weird, right? Because it'll push like this and go over if I just move simply. Oh, here's something interesting. If I push from here, where does this end up? Oh no, that still sends it five. It doesn't matter where I push it from. It will always go that distance. We're, we're having a lot of different ways to start. I, I want to expand on this idea. Because pushing it all the way over, then bring it back. Seems like something this game would do, especially in a secret- Or not secret, but a bonus level. I almost want to start by moving over here first, giving myself as much space as possible. Ah, uh, but it doesn't matter how much space I give myself, it's just a void here, regardless. Well, I can always push now, like this, but I can't push twice. Doesn't let me. It's illegal. I can push once like this, once like that. What if now I go down, down? Oh, but if I send it over, then it sucks to be me. It's like I almost need to do this in a different order. But I have to send it up first? There's currently not space for that. What if I instead start by like going up? Maybe that somehow gives me better spatial freedom? I'm not sure how. No, because that just covers up the hole. Unless if I do something more like this? Pushing up here? I mean, technically I could access the hole still. Maybe even from below? Oh. What if from below? What about it? What about it? Hold on, we're making some moves here. What is this shape? <laughs> oh my god, that was convoluted as hell. But there was a steady process to get there. It's just how far outside of the box are you willing to think? Well, that was a good time. <laughs> it's weird, right? You go for the unconventional methods and often uh, you'll find your way there because the puzzle creators want you to do unconventional things. What is this grid? It's a Tetris grid. We're playing Tetris inside of Snake Game. Sorry, Cactus Game. It's like the same thing. Snake, Cactus. You know, this game's just kind of like Snake Bird, at least in spirit. All right, so we just have to go over once and up once. Now the question is, how the hell do we push it over? We can only push ourselves down, which is worrisome. Maybe I have to push it up higher distance? Like maybe here, sort of deal. And now I just have to push the whole thing down. Um, so what happens if I just go here? I see. Okay, what if before all this, I push here? Okay, all right, all right, we just send it down. This is so close, if only my body wasn't there. But, I mean, maybe there's another way? I, I feel like taking this step by step is a little bit important. Because there's only a couple ways you can really start out. One, pushing it simply like this. Two, pushing it simply like this. And then the third way is pushing it with our whole body. We can rule this one out pretty easily. So it really comes down to the basic two. Now, this was what I tried first. So after this, I am forced to push like this. Okay, you might say. That could possibly get somewhere, and you're right, it actually could. Because we could loop around, push it up there, and then get ourselves stuck. But there is a little bit of hope. Because what we can do instead is wander around to this area and give ourselves a little bit of spatial freedom. Why does that matter? Because what we can do is push around here, push around here, and then push our whole selves down, sending it into the hole. Of course. Naturally. What a funny looking level. But a good solution. I had a good time with that puzzle. It, this was one of the weird cases where it almost helped to talk about it out loud. I almost feel as if I was quiet. If I was quiet while solving that, I would have a harder time. Oh, I have to get back. I was not prepared for this. How do I get back? 
Um, well, here's something interesting. I have access to a larger grid up here. So I could probably just use that to help me push over. Because I really just need to go five over and maybe three down. So what I could do is push over and then over again and then down. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. It was way harder to get there. That is for sure. All right. Well, let's make our way up to level 17 in this area. What is the deal now? They have slanted gr grid lines. Oh my God. The grid lines are slanted. I should have known this was coming. Duh, they were changing up the grid before. Who said it had to really be a grid? It's just multi-directional, hexagonal cactus. Oh my god, okay, is that... How's it mess with... How's it mess with pushing it? Like, where does this go? Oh, it goes that way. Oh my god. There is no wall pushing here. So what I almost want to seem to do is push it down first. Like, go along the top, push it down, and then push it into the hole. This seems really cool. This is just the previous thing. Take it to a whole nother level. Wow. Even the main menu area. Or even the overworld, I guess I should say. So more hexagonal cactus pushing. The wank... I was gonna say the wankiest grid ever. The jankiest grid ever. So does this... Yes, does push it that way. Oh, I could push in a few different ways. I can push down like this. No, actually, it's impossible to push down like that. And it's impossible to push up like that. That's just the aesthetic at this point. Can I push it manually in some other way first? If I was able to push off the wall now, I would win. But I'm not. So what if I went around the long way? No. No, 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 no. How many routes are there from here to the hole? Well, I could go do an inverse V. An up carrot, if you will. But then pushing it in this direction is not easy. And I don't have a wall to help me here. So this way, I think I can rule out. What if I go here, then here, then here? Uh huh? But then I have to watch out for my base. I can't send it down here because my base is here. Maybe if I push it up, something could change. If I push it up first, I could send it here and then send it down, which means I could loop around and then send my whole body into there. Wow, okay. That's, that's one way to do it. Probably the only way to do it, for all I know. Okay, still hexagonal movement. I think that's what I'm just going to call it. It's probably not hexagonal, but it just has hexagon vibes, if you catch my drift. We have to do two cactuses, one moving down one over two, and the other one going up one over two. Okay, so we can push ourselves down over and up over. So I can do this. Can I free myself? Yes, but I can't escape. Let me set this up. If I go this way... Can I set it up? Yeah. That one was not too bad. Definitely easier. Still required a bit of abstract thinking. So I have to find out exactly how we can send it. Well, this one can make it in by going, whoops, by going through a pattern like this. I have to imagine it's not that easy, but what I could do is cry. A couple ways I could go about this, come to think of it. Could go this way and then send it in. What's nice about this is I can exit it. And maybe it's not too bad. Maybe I'll just push it over and then, oh, nope. So then how else could I push it? I can push like this and then push it up like that? Yeah, I, I thought I tried this already, but uh, I guess not. It's one of those things that's easy to miss because it's not... It, it, the way of doing this puzzle and the wrong way of doing the puzzle, they're, they're not too far from each other. All right, so we just got to hook it in and bring it back. So what's wrong with pushing this up maybe twice? Push it over, push it over. And then bringing it down. And I was like hoping I could latch on to it. I gotta retrieve that cactus somehow. Um, okay, here's something interesting. Uh, the only way to bring my whole cactus to left is by pushing off of here. Which will move me one down and two over. Right? And the cactus just needs to go one down, two over into its hole. So all I need to do is be on the side of it. Can I push my base anywhere? 
like here first and then bring it up twice and then bring it over like this that's not too bad okay all right sure change up the order a bit a decent push we've made it to 22 this area looks more daunting than it really is but don't get me wrong it looks very daunting especially this puzzle what's your deal right so you gotta push oh 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 i can't actually move there i can move here on this one and let me demonstrate what i wanted to do here i'm stuck <laughs> um how am i supposed to rescue myself from either of these holes maybe i'm not maybe the tail has to do the pushing for one of the holes and then i have to use my head for the other one it would make sense I have to use my tail for the right because it's impossible for my head to push it in and then use my head to push in the left. But my issue is how would I get my tail to line up here? So if anything, the base would have to be here and then it would have to go up and then it could go over like this or it could go down like this because we're not talking about actually moving in this area. We're just talking about getting ourselves moved to this area. So it could be a, an acute angle or an obtuse angle. And based off the way we moved, it's probably going to be an obtuse angle. I feel like I have to be careful. Because if I push myself here, I can't just send myself over so easily. Unless if I do something like this. So from here, I would need to push myself down. But I'm a little stuck, aren't I? If I ever push myself this way, and then that way, I could send myself down diagonally twice. Like that. And then from here, I could almost send my entire self down very close. Watch what happens when I try. A little dog here, which means I just need to correct myself in the beginning. I just need to go like this, I think, and that covers it. Because I think it looks like we have space all the way through. Let's see. We do! And that means we can push this here. Nice. Cool puzzle. And for 23. This isn't even close to the end, though. This desert world is going to have way more challenges than the previous world. So the rightmost one needs to go over twice and up once. So it's just a single push. But it's not a push in a direction that I can actually... No, it isn't a push in a direction I can do. Because actually all I really need to do is this. So is it possible for me to get the other cactus first? Almost. And even if it, I was able to push myself, I would actually end up pushing the first cactus out of its hole. What if I start by pushing here? Oh. Oh. This is close, right? This is just gonna... We're gonna donk up there. That's a possibility. Bring it... Maybe to here? Oh, that hits! Oh, it barely collides. Is it fair to say that this just isn't happening? No, I don't think that's fair. If I really get out of the way right now, though. Hold on, hold on. I might have something here. So I always think about this idea where I gave myself a little bit of space here, push this down twice, and then use the part of me, or a different part of me to send this into here. Wow. An earlier part to send that in. Yeah, you have to observe all parts of the cactus to get that. This is crazy. I'm loving these levels. Really stretching out the brain. Oh boy, this is another tutorial-esque level. All right, let's see what the deal is. How can you be twisting it up this time? <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, the Giz grid. This is some evil, evil stuff. So, I have to somehow... Go over and then make it back. Oh, that's funny. I, yeah, I have to be able to make it back. <laughs> Through this way without hitting myself. I need to move the exact distance because I can't push myself twice. Well, if I went all down the first time, what if I go all up? Because I don't think it should cross over, right? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't need to cross over. This is beyond weird. They've just abandoned all normality for a grid. 
It's spelling letters. It's branching everywhere. No. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> this is insane. This is crazy. That's 36 too, which is allegedly the final level in desert. So I feel like this is a good spot to end it. I think where we pick up next episode, we might be approaching what at least appears to be the end of the game. Stay tuned. <laughs> How crazy can these grids get? I'll see you all in the next episode of Long Cactus. Peace.